Hello dear students, today we start our new model Breakthrough Technologies, open your books at page 83, exercise 1. Major breakthroughs. Before filling in the gaps, let's get acquainted with new words and write down them in your vocabularies. Launch Orbit Pioneer Revolutionize Unmanned now let's check. In 1928, Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin by chance when he forgot to clean a dish. This revolutionized medicine and led to the development of life-saving antibiotics. B. In 1957, Russia launched Sputnik 1, the first unmanned satellite to successfully orbit Earth. Then, in 1961, Vostok 1 completed the orbit around the Earth carrying the 27-year-old Russian cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin. C. Nikola Tesla pioneered the use of alternating current to send power over huge distances. He paved the way for our modern electricity supply and is referred to as the man who lit up the world. D. In 1799, French soldiers came across a flat stone near Rosetta, Egypt. The Rosetta stone had writing in Egyptian hieroglyphs and Greek on it. And by comparing the two, experts were able to work out the meaning of the hieroglyphs, which had been unreadable for centuries. And now let's define which description is related to Space exploration. It's paragraph B about Russian satellites. Medicine, paragraph A about penicillin. Archaeology, the last paragraph D about Rosetta Stone. And technology is paragraph C about Nikola Tesla's discovery. Now let's watch the video. Breakthrough Technologies Let's take a look at four important breakthroughs which changed the world we live in. In 1928, Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin by chance when he forgot to clean a dish. This revolutionized medicine and led to the development of life-saving antibiotics. In 1957, Russia launched Sputnik 1, the first unmanned satellite to successfully orbit Earth. Then, in 1961, Vostok 1 completed one orbit around the Earth carrying the 27-year-old Russian cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin. Nikola Tesla pioneered the use of alternating current to send power over huge distances. He paved the way for our modern electricity supply and is referred to as the man who lit up the world. In 1799, French soldiers came across a flat stone near Rosetta, Egypt. The Rosetta Stone had writing in Egyptian hieroglyphics and Greek on it, and by comparing the two, Experts were able to work out the meaning of the hieroglyphics which had been unreadable for centuries. Which of these breakthroughs do you think had the biggest impact on the world? And over to you. Which of these breakthroughs do you think has had the biggest impact on our lives? I think the discovery of penicillin has impacted our lives the most because antibiotics have saved millions of people from dying from simple infections since then. Name some other major breakthroughs and why you consider them important. It was a major breakthrough when man invented the wheel, thousands of years ago, as it paved the way for the development of vehicles, but also other things like the water wheel and the windmill, which gave humans a power source. It was a major breakthrough when the printing press was invented because it allowed books to be printed in minutes, 
making knowledge much more widely available and improving education. And now let's speak about nanotechnology. Open your books at page 84. Exercise 1. These words and phrases appear in the text. Listen to them and repeat. Microscopic robot. Molecules of DNA. Molecular biology. Nanotechnology. Spiderbots. Medical applications. Perform operations. Miniature robot surgeons. Allow treatments. Now what could the text be about? I think the text could be about microscopic robots that are partly made of DNA molecules. Through molecular biology and nanotechnology, they can be used for medical applications. They could be used to perform operations like miniature robot surgeons, and they may be called spider bots. They could allow many treatments that are currently not possible. Before reading the text, let's get acquainted with new words. Listen to them and write down in your vocabularies. Administer. Attached to. Carry out. Detect. Dob. Groundbreaking. Invasive surgery. Medical applications. Molecular level. Molecule. Patrol. Precision. Protein. Steady hand. Strand. Now let's listen to and read the text. The Nanobots Scientists recently created a microscopic robot that can crawl along molecules of DNA. Combining the science of molecular biology and nanotechnology, this unique mechanism, dubbed a nano-spider, was developed by a team of researchers from Columbia University in New York, with the help of colleagues in Arizona, California and Michigan. The groundbreaking device measures a mere 4 nanometers in width, an amazing 100,000 times smaller than the diameter of a human hair. Needless to say, this nano spider is no Wall-E, but it can still be classified as a robot. A robot is defined as a mechanism that can understand its surrounding environment, make decisions, and move automatically. The little spider bots can certainly do that. They can walk, turn left and right, and even create their own products. One day, such microscopic devices could actually be used to build tiny computer chips or to detect and treat diseases such as cancer at a molecular level. It is interesting to note that the nano spiders are made of DNA molecules. The spider's body is composed of a common protein called stratavidin. Unlike a real spider, however, the nano spider has only got four legs, which are single strands of DNA protein attached to the body. Microscopic DNA walkers have been developed in the past, but they have never managed more than three steps. These ones can manage as many as 50 steps, which means a possible walking distance of around 100 nanometers. Taking up to one hour to complete, this is more like a marathon for the nano spider. However, researchers hope to be able to make the spiders walk faster and further in the future. Furthermore, present research is focusing on making the nano spiders able to follow more commands and to make more decisions. Molecular robotics is a new field in scientific research. Although it has not produced a long list of great inventions yet, scientists believe that nanotechnology 
could become one of the most important industries in the near future. The nano spider is considered to be an important step in research which could one day lead to devices being created for various medical applications. One day, people could live their lives with miniature robot surgeons patrolling and protecting the insides of their bodies. For example, the spiders could be programmed to check a cell in the body, decide if it is cancerous, and then administer an anti-cancer drug. On the other hand, there are a number of arguments against the use of nanotechnology. Most of these concerns are over safety regulations. People are concerned that nanotechnology is not only being used to build small computer parts, but that it is also being used in food, clothing and medicine. Those with concerns would like to see stricter rules applied to the nanotechnology industry and they would like further tests to be carried out on products before they are allowed to enter the market. Billions of dollars are being invested in the research and development of nanoproducts worldwide. Robots are already working in hospitals around the world, often performing operations that require a steadier hand or more precision than a human is capable of. These microscopic robots, therefore, will allow treatments to be given that are currently impossible or which call for more invasive surgery. In exercise 2, you are to read the text again and for questions, choose the correct answer. You are to give reasons for your answers. In the first paragraph, the writer says that the nano spider is an extremely small machine. D. The second, why does the writer suggest nano spiders can be classified as robots? Because they have the features of a robot. It's A. The third, what does this refer to in 130? It's B the walking distance a DNA walker can do. Number four. What do we learn about nanospiders in the fifth paragraph? It's A. They could protect our bodies from disease in future. The fifth. What does the writer say about arguments against the use of nanotechnology? C. There are concerns about whether the industry has strict rules for safety. And the last, all in all, the writer presents nanobots as devices which may be very useful in the future. See. Now let's watch the video. The nanobots. How much do you know about spiders? According to the Guinness World Records, the largest spider in the world has legs which are 28 centimeters long. This is almost as long as a typical ruler. And what about the world's tiniest spider? It's the Samoan moss spider. It has a body length of only 0.3 millimeters. But there is actually an even smaller spider. It was created by a team of researchers from Columbia University. With the help of colleagues in other states, they have managed to construct a nano spider. This groundbreaking device measures four nanometers in width. One hundred thousand times smaller than the diameter of a human hair. Unlike a real spider, the nano spider has only got four legs. It is made of special DNA protein molecules and it is a proper robot. It can make decisions, move automatically and make sense of its environment. As far as movement is concerned, 
This tiny creature can climb 50 steps. However, because it is so tiny, this distance is more like a marathon to it. Scientists are working on ways to improve the nano spider's performance. This is important because in the future, nano spiders could be used to build computer chips or treat diseases. There is actually a new scientific field called molecular robotics. It deals with the use of such devices in medicine. Imagine having a tiny nano spider inside your body. It would be programmed to find cells that are sick and treat them with the right drugs. Does this sound like science fiction? Don't forget that robots are already performing operations in hospitals around the world. Nanotechnology might help us treat diseases in a way that has never been done before. On the other hand, many people are worried about human safety. Nanotechnology is used in food, clothing and medicine. So there should be strict laws to protect human health. Although further research is needed, one thing is for sure, robots are here to stay. Do you think nanobots will ever replace humans in fields like medicine? Why? I don't think nanobots will replace humans, but I think they will replace certain medicines and remove the need for certain surgeries. I disagree. I think there will be no need for doctors if we have nanobots inside us keeping us healthy. In exercise 3 you are to fill in development, operations, environment, chips, applications, robotics. Now let's check. You are to make sentences using the completed phrases. Listen to the models. Scientists have developed tiny computer chips that can detect and treat diseases. Innovators are trying to develop medical applications that will help diagnose certain health problems. Many doctors around the world perform operations with the help of robots. Doctors hope that molecular robotics will become more efficient in the future. A robot has been designed to understand and interact with its surrounding environment. There are many scientists that support the development of nanoproducts and believe they will change the future of medicine. And now let's speak about grammar, reported speech. You are to remember, direct speech is the exact word somebody said. We use quotation marks in direct speech. Reported speech is the exact meaning of what somebody said, but not the exact words. We do not use quotation marks in reported speech. Reported speech is introduced with an introductory verb, say, tell, etc., and with words that, which can be omitted. I'm watching TV, Lynn said. Lynn said that she was watching TV. We are to remember to change the tenses. When the introductory verb say, tell, etc. is in the past simple, the tenses change as follows. Present simple into past simple. I usually rent a DVD at the weekend. She said... She said that she usually rented a DVD at the weekend. Present continues into past continuous. They are playing an act from the play Cats. My friend told me. My friend told me that they were playing an act from the play Cats. Present perfect into past perfect. 
The students have given an amazing performance. The teacher told the audience. The teacher told the audience that the students had given an amazing performance. Past simple, into past simple or past perfect. These are the actors and actress who starred in the Harry Potter films. She said. She said those were the actors and actress who starred in the Harry Potter films. Past continuous into past continuous, past perfect continuous. The cameraman was shooting the film all morning. The director said. The director said that the cameraman was shooting the film all morning. The director said that the cameraman had been shooting the film all morning. We do not change past perfect. Sean Connery had played the lead role in the James Bond films before Daniel Craig. She told me. She told me that Sean Connery had played the lead role in the James Bond films before Daniel Craig. And we changed some model and auxiliary verbs as will into would, can, could, may, might, could, must, must, had to. And we also to remember not to change the words as would, could, might, should, ought to, had better, used to and mustn't. You can pay for the tickets by credit card, the woman said. The woman said that we could pay for the tickets by credit card. And verb tenses remain the same in reported speech when the introductory verb say, tell, etc. is in the present. George Lucas is one of the most successful producers, writers and directors in Hollywood. Say people in the film industry. People in the film industry say that George Lucas is one of the most successful producers, writers and directors in Hollywood. Don't forget to change your personal possessive pronouns and adjectives according to the meaning of the sentence. We want to buy two tickets for the new James Bond film. Mary said. Mary said that they wanted to buy two tickets for the new James Bond film. And certain words and time expressions change according to the meaning as follows. Now, into then, immediately. Today, that day. Yesterday, the day before, the previous day. Tomorrow, next following day. This week, that week. Last week, the week before, the previous week. Next week, the week after, the following week. Ago, before, here, there. I went to the cinema last night. Fiona told her friend. Fiona told her friend that she had gone to the cinema the night before. Reported questions are usually introduced with the verbs ask, inquire, wonder, or the expression want to know. Do you like the film we are watching? I asked Nancy. I asked Nancy if she liked the film we were watching. In reported questions, the verb is in the affirmative. The question mark and word expressions such as please, well, oh, etc. are omitted. The verb tenses, pronouns, possessive adjectives and time expressions change as in reported statements. Well, what do you think about our project? I asked Ken. Oh, it looks very difficult, said Ken. I asked Ken what he thought about our project. Ken said that it looked very difficult. When the direct question begins with an auxiliary verb, be, do, have, or modal verb, can, may, etc., then the reported question is introduced with if or whether. Can I borrow more books? He asked the librarian. He asked the librarian if he could borrow more books. When the direct question begins with a question about who, where, how, when, what, etc., the reported question is introduced with the same question word. Changes in tenses and certain words and time expressions are the same as for reported statements.
What time does the film start? She asked. She asked what time the film started. To report commands, we use the verb tell ask plus somebody plus to infinitive. Click on this icon to access the intranet. The teacher told him. The teacher told him to click on that icon to access the internet. If the verb in imperative mood is in negative form with the verb don't, we use ask tell plus somebody plus not plus to infinitive. Don't misbehave in class, Tommy. The teacher told Tommy. The teacher told Tommy not to misbehave in class. Special introductory verbs. We can use the other introductory verbs instead of say and tell in reported speech to give the meaning of the sentence in direct speech. Some of the most commonly used introductory verbs are agree, demand, offer, promise, refuse, claim, are used with two infinitive, advice, allow, ask, one, want, remind, are used with somebody, plus to infinitive, accuse somebody of, apologize for, deny, suggest, admit to, insist on, with ing form, agree, claim, deny, promise, explain, claim, can be used with that clause. I will help my brother paint his room, she said. She promised she would help her brother paint his room. We can use a variety of reporting verbs in reported speech. Agree, demand, offer, promise, refuse, etc. With infinitive. I don't want to eat the biscuit because I'm on a diet. She said. She refused to eat the biscuit because she was on a diet. Advice, allow, ask, invite, remind, one with somebody plus to infinitive. Please come and watch me work. The artist said. The artist invited people to come and watch him work. Admit to apologize for, complain to somebody of, about, suggest, etc. are used with inform. And the verb suggest can also be used as follows. Suggest that somebody should with be infinitive. We should go to the cinema next week. Because a great film has come out. Jane said. Jane suggested going to the cinema the following week because a great film had come out. Agree, demand, offer, promise, refuse, with a to infinitive. You lied to me, she said. She accused him of lying to her. In exercise 4, you are to change the following from direct into reported speech. In exercise 5, some people believe that robots will have a positive impact on our life, whereas others disagree. What do you think about the positive and negative impacts will be? Listen to the opinion. I think that a positive impact will come from robots who help people with household chores, especially the elderly and the disabled. I think that industrial robots and robots that do tasks that humans currently earn their living from will have a negative impact because these people will lose their jobs and their income. In exercise 6, you are to find the main idea in each paragraph. Now, use them to write a short summary of the text. Use vocabulary from the list and appropriate connectors. Now let's listen to the model. A microscopic robot was recently created by a team of researchers in the USA. They call it a nano spider and it can crawl along molecules of DNA. It can walk and turn and even make its own products. And it is made out of DNA molecules. So far it can walk 100 nanometers. But researchers are trying to make it walk longer distances. Nanotechnology seems to be very useful and may have a lot of medical applications. Some people are concerned about how safe nanotechnology is. 
A lot of money is spent on nanotechnology, and in the future, scientists believe nanorobots may be able to operate on people.